Hi everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. First, I'm going to read my prayer book, Walk in Faith. Then I'm going to get to this new article from New York Post. But before I get to that, I'm going to read my prayer book. So here it is. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. That's from the book of Psalm, chapter 125, verse 2. Here's the prayer. Lord, allow me to be the kind of parent that my child can be proud of. I try to protect my kids as I also teach them to make their own choices. It's tempting to control too much of their lives out of a misguided sense of my own better judgment. But your teachings don't support that, and I know in my heart that it's not the right way. Help me to surround my kids with protective love, but not smother them. Amen. Now I'm going to get into this New York, or this New York Post article. It's about Nia Long, you know, and her fiancé, Ime Udoka. So I'm going to get right into it. Here it is. The name of it is called Nia Long Blindsided by Fiancé Ime Udoka's Affair. I'll write the name of the author down in the description box below. Nia Long was blindsided by the affair her fiancé Ime Udoka had with a Celtics employee. That's according to TMZ, which reports that Udoka kept her in the dark about his affair, even though the team busted him months ago. The Celtics began investigating the coach's affair in July, but he apparently did not reveal it to his long-term significant other until the last several days when Udoka knew it was about to go public. The report added that the couple was house hunting in Boston recently after long move to the city. The outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community. Hold on. Community during this difficult time means so much to me, Long told TMZ in a statement through her publicist. I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent, come on now, the recent events. Above all, I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. According to People, Udoka and Long began dating in 2010 after being introduced by mutual friends. The couple got engaged in 2015. They have a 10-year-old son. The 51-year-old actress has had recruiting roles on NCIS and Empire and starred in numerous movies, including Friday and Big Mama's House. The 45-year-old Udoka was suspended for at least the full 2022-23 NBA season by the Celtics, whom he led to the NBA Finals in his first season as head coach. In addition to the affair, he was also accused of making unwanted comments towards the woman, according to a report from Shams Sharana at the, at the Athletic. Here's what to know about Ime Udoka's season-long suspension. Celtics suspend Ime Udoka for an entire season after alleged affair. Celtics call Ime Udoka's suspension well warranted. Neil Long blindsided by fiance Ime Udoka's affair. Matt Burns found, a, found Ime Udoka's scandal 100 times uglier than he thought. 
I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down, Udoka said in a statement. Yeah, you could have saved your sorry because you should have thought about what you was doing before you did it. See, you didn't think you was going to get caught or snitched on, so that's why you did it. So I don't think you're really sorry. you just sorry that you got caught. But I'm going to move on. I am sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation, and I accept the team's decision. Out of respect for everyone involved, I will have no further comment. You embarrassed, that's why. Udoka's future with the team is murk, murky beyond this season. Team owner Wick Grossback and President Brad Stevens held a press conference on Friday where they discussed the severity of the coach's actions and made no promises that Udoka will return as coach after his suspension was up. The investigation had some twists and turns, and it took some time to develop all the facts. Bruce, Bruce Beck told report, reporters, one day after the suspension was announced, everything we know, we know was wrapped up two days ago. Bruce, Bruce Beck called the suspension, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I'm just going to say G, called the suspension well-warranted, and noted multiple violations by Udoka. This felt right, but there's no clear guidelines for any of this, G said. I took a lot of advice from partners like Brad and others. We collectively came to this and got there, but it was not clear what to do, but it was clear that something substantial needed to be done, in my view, and it was. That's the end of the article. Yeah, I'm not going to drag or anything like that, but e like I said, you should have thought about what you did before you did it. You did. You are sorry. You sorry that you got caught. Because other than that, I don't think you're really sorry. Because if you were sorry, you would have stopped after the first time. You would have told your, your fiancé, Mia, the truth from the beginning after it happened. You wouldn't have let it go on, on as long as you let it went on. See, you fumbled a bag. You possibly fumbled your relationship. And, you know, what was it all for? Was it worth it? You know, seriously, you, you out of a job, a coaching job, for at least a whole year. So it's like, and then you got, you know, this violate. Not only did you violate teams, the team and organization rules, but you also made inappropriate comments about the to the female staffer or the employee that you were sleeping with, either the, the Caucasian lady who's married who's married to um, a guy that works on, on the, in the organization because the other woman he messed around with was a ca Caucasian woman. I don't know her name. They didn't really say her name. If they did, I don't remember. But she's married to somebody who works in the Boston organize, Boston Celtics organization. So he works on the team. I don't know if he's the team owner, but he works on the team. And he's part of the staff. So it's like, how you gonna sleep with your, either your boss's wife or your coworker's wife, basically. That's dumb right there. That's very dumb. So it's like, dude, you, you, you should have thought about what you was doing before you did it. So like I said, you screwed yourself out of a job and possibly out of a relationship. And the reason why you apologizing is because you embarrassed by your, you embarrassed that you got caught. That's what it is. You doing a walk of shame. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You, you just sorry that you, like I said, you sorry, all right. But yeah. You know, good luck to you, whatever happens. I, I hope that you didn't um, assault this woman, you know, Allison Feaster or the other woman you was messing around with. I hope you didn't assault either one of them. Hopefully that's not true. But if it is, then whatever comes to you, you deserve it because you had no business getting involved with neither woman. 
you had you have a good woman and you didn't cherish her. You know what I'm saying? You had a good thing going on at home and you screwed it up by and then you had a great coaching job too. You did a fan, you did a great job leading Boston to the um, NBA finals as your as a first year coach and then you won I think you won coach of the year too for twenty for the twenty twenty one twenty two season last 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 season. So it's like you messed it all up for some for a piece of ass. You mess it up. You mess all that up and threw all that away for a piece of box that's not even yours. Possibly, yeah, that's not even yours. You should be shamed. You should be ashamed. But I'm done with this guy. Nia, I'm sorry, but because of your connection to him, because of your involvement with Ime, people know about your relationship now. You, I don't think you're gonna get that much privacy. You know, I, I personally feel like you deserve pilot or deserve privacy. I don't think you're really gonna get it because you might as well accept the support from family and friends now because I don't think you're gonna get that much privacy because people are going to talk and I think more things probably will come out about Ime Udoka's bad or extracurricular activities. He might get, uh, um, uh, you know, sexual allegation made against him, assault allegation coming out against him. I hope not, but it's a possibility. So you asking for privacy, I don't think that's much of that is going to happen because once your business is put out there, it's everybody's business. And my thing is, and it's not your fault, it's your stupid fiance, it's his fault. All his fault. If he if he wasn't happy with you at home or happy with what was going on, he should have been a man and he should have came to you and he should have had an honest conversation about what he needed and wanted in your relationship. But instead, he decided to get down and dirty with Tom, Dick, and Harry, you know, with get down and dirty with the um with the help with the lower case, with the lower staff you know it's like he downgraded when he cheated on you so like i said you beautiful you gifted you talent you're a legend you you a timeless you're a timeless beauty you know you you you're like i said you got it going on queen and you age very well but yeah like i said you might have to end up leaving this guy because I think things might get worse from here. There's some details that seem like that might be left out when it comes to him and his activities. But um, anyway, I wish you well. I pray for your inner peace. I pray for your mental health because you don't deserve to be treated this way by this dude. He may is too old to be this dumb and too old to be getting caught messing around. If you're going to cheat, like I said, don't get caught. Don't get caught. And if you and if you got a feeling that something might happen, you need to tell your fiance or tell the woman that you are a man that you with what's going on so they won't be blindsided like Nia is. So I know she don't have no idea at the, idea at the moment what to do because it's a shock to her. But like I said, she'll figure it out. I think she'll figure it out with time. So like I said, try to give her privacy, but at the same time, it's going to be difficult because once you like I said, once your relationship, your business is put out there, everybody going to have an opinion about it. Unfortunately, they're going to say something. But anyway, I'm done. I hope you all like, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you, if you care. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and thanks for watching. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.